Okay, so I decided to go on and make this video. It's my guacamole. I have had literally hundreds of people ask, okay, not hundreds, maybe a whole, but well, not even a whole bunch. Okay, I've had a couple of people, a couple, maybe two, <laughs> couple of people to ask me how do I make my guacamole, and it's really simple. Um, the the ingredients, um, I have, of course, the avocado. Then I have the lime. This is optional, but I also like tomato in mine. Red, obviously purple, onion, cilantro, black pepper, cumin, just a little bit of salt, and garlic powder. Sometimes I will put onion powder, but I think I left it at work. So yeah. Um, let's go on and get started. So, when I make my guacamole, most of the times I just like it. Okay, well, before I even say how I make my guacamole, picking out the avocado. Okay, I don't know if you can see this good, but it has more brown spots than green you can see just a hint of green but to me this is like perfect for guacamole it's mostly like brown here's one little section of green but that's that's just how i like mine some people they may like a little bit more green than brown but um for me this is really like the the shade that i go for Okay, and then some people also like to peel that seed and look in there and they can see that it's the right color inside of the avocado. But I wouldn't recommend that unless you're going to buy it because you don't want to be in the grocery store pulling the, I think this is a seed or the cap off of uh, the avocado if you're not going to buy it. So I'll go on in. my avocado see perfect that's exactly how I like to to see my avocado on the inside sometimes it gets brown looking I, I really don't I don't like that because I feel like when it turns brown is it's going bad but if, if that's what you prefer, then, I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine as well. But that's just not, that's not what I prefer. And again, it's got that beautiful green on the inside. Okay, now I'm just going to peel the outside. And it comes off really easy. It's like the skin. Let's pull it off. See what you're looking for. And then I'm going to do the same with this avocado, of course. Then I'm just going to sit it in the back, in the, in the bowl. Okay. 
See, as you can see, it peels very well. And you don't, you're not wasting anything, see? Comes off really smooth. Okay. Of course, my hands are extremely clean. And when I'm done with that, I'll go on and just cut it no particular way. So when I'm done, I'm just going to mash it up. And I'll put it in the bowl. Then, of course, the seed, that big seed is in there, but it's fine. I'll just cut around it. Some people do like this weird trick to try to get that seed out. And I'm not trying to do that because I don't want to cut myself. So if there's just a little bit left on there, that's fine. It's not going to be much. can be extremely um it gets your hands nasty but it's fine it's, i mean it's not a big deal when i'm done i'll just wash them Okay, there again, there's the little seed. I'll just cut around it. Be very careful because it kind of moves around. See that time, majority of the it came off, which is good. I'll just put that to the side. Cut that. Doesn't have to be small. Um, the only reason why I would have my smaller fit if you don't want it chunky, but it's fine to have it uh, chunky like that. The cilantro I've already rinsed the cilantro off because of course you want to be sure that that's good and, and clean so next I go in and do my onion Chef. 
So, this is just how I cut mine, you know. It's really not a big deal, as long as it's cut up. Then it can be the size that, that, that's your preference. Doesn't have to be small, doesn't have to be big, just whatever size you like. Next, I'm going to cut my tomato. Again, no particular way to cut it. No specific size, just whatever your preference is. This tomato is just a little soft, but it's okay. It's perfectly fine. When it's mixed in, you really can't tell the difference. Next, I'm going to do my cilantro, and I'll just get a pair of kitchen shears for those, for the cilantro. I don't like the stem in my cilantro. I just don't. So I just take the extra time and, and cut around this stem. But if you, it doesn't matter and it's not a big deal to you, then you can just cut it stem and all. And then I just randomly cut it into little bitty pieces. Doesn't have to be fine. Again, whatever your preference is. Just grabbing it by the handful. Then I have another stem that I don't want. Okay, so 
before I add any of my seasonings. I'll just go on and get that avocado to the size that I want and just mash it. So this is how it looks. See, it's still chunky. And I just mash it at random. If you want yours ch chunky like that, it'll be like almost like an avocado sal salad. And you can just keep it like this. That would be a really good salad. Add a little black pepper with it. And maybe the lime. Yeah, that'd be good. But for now, we're making a guacamole. I'm just going to continue to mash. mix it as I go See how that looks. Look at that. To me, that's about the consistency that I'm looking for. Okay, next, just a little salt. Black pepper. Cumin. And garlic powder. Garlic powder. I'm gonna mix that in. And then my last step is the lime.
put it in my bowl. Gonna give it a taste. Perfect. That's just the way I like it. Delicious. Just try it and let me know if you like it. Enjoy. Bye-bye.